So this article came my way on my Newsbreak app, and all I saw was Breonna Taylor's name in it, and it just you know piqued my interest when I saw it. So in this picture, you see this man by the name of Jamarcus Glover, and they said that he is the ex-boyfriend to Breonna Taylor. And it says that he was just taken into custody after warrants were issued for his arrest. Now, I found it very interesting that they can arrest people that are surrounded around Breonna Taylor. They arrested her current boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, because, you know, he was protecting his home and everything like that. Now they in, in arrest this guy, her ex-boyfriend, and take him into custody under these warrants. But they refuse to arrest the terrorists that were involved with her murder. Interesting. And it's crazy because I actually like kind of scrolled through a little bit of the article and the person's picture who popped up there was one of the last ones that I wanted to see. And that was none other than that goddamn jigaboom known as Daniel J. Cameron. You know, that clean shaven bastard who absolutely refuses to actually arrest the pigs that were involved. But this guy gets arrested. And this is recent, y'all. This is recent. Very recent, as in within the last month. Brianna Taylor's ex-boyfriend was taken into police custody on Thursday after warrants had been issued for his arrest. Jamarcus Glover, age 30, was charged with drug and traffic offenses. He is being held in lieu of a $50,000 bond at Louisville Metro Department of Corrections. Glover was one of the people listed on the no-knock warrant, which was served on Taylor's residence in March, the day she was killed. She was caught in the crossfire that resulted from confusion and chaos, if they want to call it that. It was chaos, but I doubt it was confusion. After the police burst in looking for suspects who were not there, her death sparked national protests and outrage as she was a former EMT and aspiring nurse. Taylor nor any of the other people present during the police raid, the terrorist raid, were listed on the warrant. Glover's attorney had already reportedly admitted his client had skipped a court appearance and an arrest warrant was issued on July 27th. I already know why they're doing this. I'm almost hesitant to even click to see what they say in these damn comments. Because I already know what they're probably going to say. And like, see, she had all these people connected to her. They need to go ahead and uh, let this go and everything like that. It's her fault. Like, I've seen many comments say that this is her fault. And I've heard it from, of course, from the usual suspects who are the PC individuals. But I've also seen it from seemingly other uh, black people say that this was her fault. It's gotten to this point right now where you have a lot of black people who are sounding more and more palm colored by the day. It's crazy. I swear 2020 has done something to a lot of us out here. And it's something I really don't like. It's, it's something just really off about this whole year, even more so than this virus. If anything, it's done more exposure than anything, or exposing, I should say. But I know what they're going to do. They're going to try to connect him completely, entirely to her, but they were not together anymore. But they're going to try to say that they had some, I guess, connection with each other, quote unquote, because at one point they did have a relationship. That's what that's what they're going to try to do. Like, it's amazing. They went out of their way to go out and arrest this guy. And they could have been got. They could have been arrested him if they really wanted to. But they're trying to spin a narrative to try to put it so more uh, again, more so on her. I know what they are trying to do. They do not have me fooled. And I know that they don't have you fooled. Like I said, if they really wanted to go after this guy initially, they would have done so already. And they wait until now to do it because they know it's pressure for them to arrest the pigs, the terrorists that did what they did. Mind you, I just recently did a video from the from 2018 of a story where they did the same kind of no knock warrant raid on another couple. And they pretty much walked away from that. The only difference was the couple, both of them are still alive, opposed to to Breonna Taylor, who is not, but it played off the same exact way. Those no knock warrants and those no knock raids should have been abolished. 
they should have been made illegal. But, you know, they're going to do what they want anyway. They they put it down on the books now that they can no longer do it. But how much you want to bet they still going to do it because they do what the hell they want. Like I said, they operate like a gang and gangs, you know, they operate outside of the grid, most of them. And since many of them want to operate under this whole Blue Lives Matter bullshit, that's what they're going to do.